out. Peeking out, man. Hey. Hey. Talk. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's just fine. Hey, hey, hey. That's good. So this just happened. It happened. Um, he got banned from Twitch on June, June 27th. Yeah, 26th. 2020. And then he returned. He came back to streaming on August 7th on YouTube after ghosting social media. He put out one comment. The only Twitter he put out during that whole span where he was banned was that... Um, <clears throat> Twitch has hadn't told him anything, wasn't talking to him, wouldn't tell him why he got banned. Which is sus as fuck. As per usual, more esports talk. As of last night, guys, a doctor disrespect official response. His first response ever since all of this went down. Let me just reiterate for all of you guys: I have never ever experienced something this crazy, this uh, interesting, and of course, everyone in the community right now is curious what the heck is going on. Racism accusation? Yeah, because he made fun of he. So he gets a lot of guys. He was he would do random duos and shit. Mm -hmm. And then he would get a lot of guys from Asia and shit, and <laughs> he would he would uh, pretend to be, or he would pre come join a lobby, join a random duo, and pretend he was from China or something like that. Just an accent, you know what I mean? And yeah. people took it the wrong way and got all butthurt about it. But I mean, it's it's not guy beam. It's doctor disrespect. And if you know doctor disrespect, if you if you understand the persona, then it's fucking. You gotta, you gotta understand it's a persona, man. You can't fucking hold him accountable for what he's trying to do artistically. Fucking right. fuck, fucking right. sensitive motherfuckers, man. As, as far as that being like a racist thing, I mean, you know, you got to think with all this. I don't even know if you call it political correctness anymore. It's just straight fucking... It's not like he called anybody a... Right. He just right. used a, a... Spoke English with a Chinese accent. Right. To I disguise mean, gotta... who he was so that his random duo wouldn't know right away that he's a fucking... That he's Dr. Disrespect. Right. Right. Yeah, it's that's absurd. That's fucking... You know, like comedians and shit. Comedians, I'm sure they have it terrible to kid not not that they're all out there like making fun of races of people but they say anything and they're <laughs> fucking they're screwed you know what i mean it's it's absurd i mean the the you know they call all this stuff like cringe worthy and and you know the cringe is the comedy man the, the cringe is it's a lot of times the cringe is the, is the is the entertainment you know what i mean it's like that's 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 what's funnier. That's what, it's not meant to be anything more than that. It's no. just, you know what I mean? It's like, come on, fuck, what it's is fucking what is going art, on? Man, it's yeah, fucking right. art, dude. Get over yourself, man. Right. Nobody fucking I don't know, man. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, again going uh, fuck, I don't know. It's absurd. There's been so many lines drawn in the sand over the shit, over the stupidest shit anymore. That well, it's, the whole cancel culture and shit, man. Come on. Right, right. It's fucking. It's, and and fuck Twitch, anyways, man. You know what I mean? They're, I they're, they hand out bans left and right on that fucking platform. They don't give a fuck about anybody who streams on there. They really right. fucking don't. Because right. they'll ban you if you could be the biggest fucking streamer on Twitch. You, if you fuck up, even in the slightest bit, one person complains about what you do, you're out. You get a yeah. ban. Not a lifetime ban. Lifetime bans, 
as far as I know, and I'm not sure about it, but I think Doc is the only guy who's got a lifetime ban from Twitch. Bro. First of all and foremost, of course, that's going to be Doc Disrespect, his first words ever since all of this went down. As last night he said, Champions Club, Twitch has not notified me on the specific reason behind their decision. Firm handshakes to all for the support during this difficult time. Dr. Disrespect. And the first thought that crossed my mind, and I think a lot of people out there, was just sheer confusion and what? After everything that's been going on so far, the theories, the rumors, and of course the lack of talk from a lot of parties being involved so far, the only thing we've really seen from Dr. Disrespect and his side of things was his wife taking to an Instagram post, and after all of this, one of the craziest things we have ever seen in gaming, he calls out Twitch for not letting him know why he was banned, which in itself is a pretty serious claim. Man, do you, are, do you really, do you think he really doesn't know what's going on? I mean, I don't think so. I think he doesn't know. Uh, well, because I know, what I know I, what, he's what, got a lawsuit going on right now. Yeah. So, you know, he's NDA'd out non-disclosure agreements, right? Right. But he seems pretty, I mean, and obviously, uh, you know, full disclosure, I don't, I don't know shit about these people. I don't know anything about it. I'm just now learning about it through you, and it's, it's all interesting. It's definitely, a, it's a definitely an entertainment, a different kind of entertainment than what I'm used to. But it's certainly, you know, there's certainly a value there. There's certainly a huge community for it. But uh, just three, from what you got, three point two million subs, man, on fucking YouTube, bro. And, right. Uh, well, just from what you showed me, I mean, he seemed pretty genuine with the fact that that he doesn't know i mean and again you know people i'm not always which has it's, yet it's, again he he got banned on what is it june 26 july 26 june 26 june 26 yeah. right so he got banned on june 26 and twitch has made one public statement right and it was just it was a very generic something about not sticking to community guidelines or something like that but still as of that banning they have not come out with an official statement to say right. why and exactly what he did not right. to the public and apparently not to him either you know right which is right. you know why it's still in the community in the gaming community it's still fucking big news it's big news it's going to be big news and when we it's going to be even bigger news when somebody fucking lets it out of lets the cat out of the bag because right. you know it's been months and months of speculation now you know right well with that welcome everybody to stage door chronicles episode 13 13 lucky number 13 mother bitches. lucky number lucky number 13 and when you're with avores 13 is always good <laughs> um just so everybody knows we're uh we're, we're talking some some stream a particular streamer i'll let i'll let christian kind of explain a little bit about him so we um, we dabbled we we introduced one of my favorite streamers um in an ep, in an earlier entertainment review doctors where we featured dr disrespect and my friend windows falafel or mr falafel but today's episode we're going to talk about the ongoing controversy around dr disrespect and his perma ban from twitch um, which happened on uh, June 26 of 2020 um, and we'll be showing some clips um, so you can see what we're talking about that's what I'm saying stand up get out there's a lot of people that want to know they want to know what happened why did you get banned guess what I want you to look me in my fucking eyes when I say this okay you're not looking at me in my eyes here. Hold on, hold on. Okay. I really want you to look me in my eyes, okay? I really want you to look me in my eyes when I say this. We still have no idea. We have no idea. Yeah, right, dude! Yeah, right! Yeah, I'm not buying that one! Bunch of phonies. We have no idea. And I'm going to tell you this right now. As far as I'm concerned, 
We didn't do anything to warrant a ban, let alone how they went about banning us. No communication before, no reaching out, nothing. Boom, done. The problem is too, there's people in the community that are anxious for an answer. And so what that does, it, it, it creates a level of uh, urgency and speculation. And I think it's just a fucking cockroach approach. Period. Last thing I'm going to say about it. And I have to be intelligent about all this. Because you're talking about a heavy contract. Lots of money. <laughs> There's big money involved. So let the legal professionals do what they need to do. That's it. Since June 26, 2020, apparently he's in, uh, in a lawsuit now with Twitch because they have yet to tell him why he got banned and they've yet to make a public statement as to why he got banned. So, of course, it's been months and months and months of speculation and controversy you know and then he went he moved from twitch to youtube he, he got banned on june 26 and he comes back to youtube on august 7th to an audience of over half a million viewers live so the guy is um a draw you know what i mean he's got a fucking huge fan base and um People are just, you know, people are still, what is it, July, uh, January 5th? January 5th. And people are still by, chomping at the bit to find out what the hell is actually going on. I mean, it's, right. um, I follow a YouTube channel called Esports News. And um, it's still, man, it, he's still making, I mean, he's still newsworthy on that channel and on, on many channels. So, you know, we just want to delve in a little bit, give you a little bit of background, and uh, now, now, let now you guys you say, in on it. When you say he came back to YouTube, is that, does that mean he was there before he went to Twitch? But Alex, if I, listen, so if I plug this in, listen, I, I don't know, Alex, I've never even streamed on YouTube. I don't even, if we plug it in here, underneath here, we're not live, are we? Yeah, he started uh, out streaming on Ma Machina, which is, I don't know what it is, it's a precursor. When he started streaming, he was playing Modern Warfare 2, I think, putting up content with Modern Warfare 2. He actually was a game designer, or he, he worked for Activision. Let's see what it says here. He worked for Sledgehammer Games. He was the community manager for Sledgehammer Games and created many of the multiplayer maps on Call of Duty Modern Warfare or Advanced Warfare. So um, the guy is not only a very talented streamer and great COD player, but also, uh, you know, well entrenched in the industry. Right. Right. Now, did he... Did when when he left YouTube the first time, is, was that a channel that he closed down? Did he just reopen it and get all these subscriptions that you're, you're talking no, about? No, he's always had a YouTube channel, but it's all since he left to go to Twitch, he didn't do any. It was just for video content and not for any live streaming because gotcha. he, he was streaming from Twitch. And the, the guy, I mean, what did he do right before, like a month before he got banned, he did a. 24 hour straight long stream for charity wow yeah i mean that's the kind of guy he is in reality never mind the fucking you know gruff and aggro exterior or <laughs> you know again persona he's persona right <laughs> but you know he's he's involved he's involved with his community and i think he's getting shafted man yeah. i think he got shafted and, you know, there's a clip out there where he 
alludes to the fact, because again, this all happened at the same time that Microsoft Mixer shut down, but not before they got two of the biggest streamers on Twitch to move over to Mixer, leave their Twitch affiliation for big, big money. We're talking multi-million dollar contracts, right? And Doc stayed at Twitch to keep, to support them, you know, instead of, he could have gone to Mixer just as easily and gotten a multi-million dollar contract from them too. They would have gladly paid it, you know, after Shroud and uh, Ninja go to Mixer, they're there for like 90 days and then Mixer shuts down, but they have to pay out those contracts. So they went, worked for Mixer for 90 days, got paid multi-million do multi-million dollar contracts, and then came right back to Twitch. <laughs> now does does disrespect, does he have a does he have a contract with Twitch or I mean uh, uh, he has or had? He had a contract with Twitch, yes. And yeah. And that's what uh, is also part of the controversy because he had just re-signed with them shortly before before uh, he got banned. Till one of the two sides is willing to break their non-disclosure agreement or whatever the fuck is going on there. Until one of the sides make a statement, it's going to be hard to figure it out. Again, right? It's just all speculation still, man. But it's months and months of speculation, and you know, it's just. Right. It's sad, man. I, I, Twitch is, and this is why I'm, I stream YouTube and not Twitch, is because they don't give a fuck about their streamers, man. They really don't. They yeah. give a fuck about their bottom line and what those streamers can bring to their platform. And that's about it. Because they right. ban, like, they ban people left and right for the fucking most ludicrous shit. You know? <laughs> well, you know, I hear, I hear on YouTube. People are getting banned at Twitch for, you know, playing a snippet of copywritten music fucking four or five years ago on their stream. Right. Get the fuck out of here with that, man. Somehow a Doc Stroud and Ninja streaming service partnered up with, by the way, Spotify. That too makes sense and lines up with the DMCA strike down and takedown request for music we have been going on and actually seen on Twitch. Would that mean their new streaming service could actually have all their streamers use Spotify music? Yeah. Well, and I, th I think that whole, you know, getting banned for doing that kind of shit, even when we did, like when we did our last episode, our New Year's episode, you know, we got notified that part of it was going to be muted. Mm -hmm. and, and, so it, and I never did watch it on Facebook, so I don't, I don't know if that ended up happening or not. But, uh, you know, I, I can understand, like on YouTube, they'll, they'll, they'll demonetize you, right? And let the whoever has the copyrights to whatever music it is you use, they get paid for whatever money you make. We don't make any money. Um, we're well aware of that. We're well aware of our 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 very lack of stature in any of these things. You know, we're just a, we're just our our local Cable. public access <laughs> on internet. You know what I mean? Uh, so, I mean, it, it is what it is, and it, you know, but but to have. You know, they're like, we're going to mute this. And I'm like, why? If we if we were making money, I would fully understand and say, hey, you know, I would certainly give up revenue for whomever, whoever's music I was using. Or if we were of any stature at all, I would reach out to these to these places and be like, hey, can I can I use a song? Can I? Yeah, whatever the case is. Um, but yeah. banning people, banning people for that to me, I, 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 would, I guess I'd understand it if you were if you were, you know, just playing somebody's record and having, you know, 3 million views on it or some shit. So yeah, you're sure. making shit tons and of money. And three, you know, every one of those people is dropping $1 into your fucking cash app or whatever. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. I, the music, the band that of the music that you're playing should get a cut. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's called but to, Right. But just, to, but just to ban people for, for things like that to me is, is a little absurd. I mean, again, I get if it's being, taken advantage of that's one thing but that seems a little absurd but, but, but back to this situation as far as we can tell he has no idea why exactly he, he's been banned yeah. and just just from the little that I've learned and I don't know how many of you out there are like me and I, I mean I'm really am 
barely getting my toes wet in any of this kind of stuff. Um, but it's certainly, it's not something that I ever necessarily went towards before. Um, but it's interesting. I mean, it's definitely entertainment. It's a different kind of entertainment. And, uh, but to not have any kind of reason, especially when you're bringing in the kind of, uh, views that I'm sure they, they I'm well, sure we're talking about revenue, we're talking but... about the 2017 esports industry awards streamer of the year the game awards trending gamer of the year in 2017 2019 he won streamer of the year again right. you know what I mean right. this right. guy is entertaining and popular you know what I mean right. and for them to uh fucking ban him like that is just it's kind of lame man and fucking twitch sucks well and it's I mean, because Twitch, they got to be making some coin off them, right? Or oh, they had my to God. Yo, for sure. So, I, I mean, it's it stands to reason, just to play devil's advocate here, I mean, it, it might stand to reason that maybe there is a good reason. Maybe there is something that, that truly happened, because I'm sure they wouldn't want to get rid of somebody. He's not been without controversy, you know. He got, he, he got caught, well, he got caught cheating on his wife with another streamer, apparently, and I'm not sure who that is. Keemstar posting this one and it kind of bouncing all over the place on Reddit now as well. That being supposedly Dr. Disrespect was banned on Twitch for cheating on his wife. Now the scandal kind of resurfacing. This seems like much of a stretch because that is not correlated to his actions which were on the platform. Although we know you can now be banned and, and even before you could be banned on Twitch or given a strike for your actions outside the platform. And then also he, when was it? 2019 or 20 2019 he went to e3 in california and he got banned because he was doing an irl stream which is in real life and he happened to walk into the bathroom right and there was people in there so oh okay when you when you first told me about that i was like he was streaming from a bathroom why would you get right but you didn't but see now, now i understand i mean you know what i mean it's not like he was going in there and filming people's dicks and shit. You yeah, know? right, right, right. <laughs> uh, I, told, I was totally looking at that a totally different way when you first told me. I'm like, who is he, like, sitting in a stall, like, streaming? No, you like, see him walk in, he goes into a stall, right, and then they're filming right. him from outside the stall because his, he's six foot eight, right? So his head is right. fucking above the stall, and he's just doing commentary, right? <laughs> but somebody cried about it, and so he got a ban. Right, right. And again, I mean, you know, that's kind of a, a weird line. I'd feel a little odd if a camera crew came into my to a bathroom where I was taking a leak. I, you know, I might not cry to the to the. I might just say, "Hey, man, you guys mind until I'm done? Wash my hands. You know, <laughs> you can fire it up after when the bathroom's up." But but again, banning him. You know, but that obviously that wasn't a lifetime ban. That was just like a slap so on the wrist kind e of thing. Yeah, it's a four. That was a fourteen day ban for the E three bathroom incident. And I, but I'm you know I say slap on the wrist. I'm sure that was a hefty monetary slap on the wrist. You know what I mean? You figure, 14 days for all parties involved. Right. You know for whether it be for Twitch and for for the streamer himself. You know I'm sure that's a hefty amount of money that that's sliding right to your hands because oh. you're banned. You're not you're not able to have all the ad revenue or whatever the case is. No, uh, uh no. He uh, yeah he uh, and he says so. I mean. In one of the clips, I think he says, um, you know, that they just took it. They took everything he he had built away from him without any explanation, which has got him fucking ticked. And rightfully so. You know what I mean? Even more so when it comes time for all the things that Dr. Dis Disrespect has lost so far. Discord partnership, Twitch subscriptions being refunded. I believe his Lamo. I I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Those are the vinyl figurines. They have dropped him as well, amongst other things, most likely. Game Fuel, though, you check their website. Dr. Disrespect, on their website at least, is still affiliated with them. Right. Fucking right. at least tell the guy what the fuck he did. I mean, I mean, again, uh, the month or a few weeks leading up to the ban, there were some uh, instances of where he's like um, spreading debunked coronavirus theories, or he's talking about people like David Icke and he and his conspiracy theories, and you know what I mean. And then there's just so much speculation, but really, until he gets told or twitch speaks up i we just don't know we just don't right. know right and, and what makes the story so interesting is that it's uh 
I guess it has to do with the money, the contracts, you know, and then the fact that nobody from Twitch is talking about it. Right. Well, that's that's another odd thing to this. You would, you know, I could see if it was something that he truly did um, that he doesn't want to get out or whatever. I could see why he might say, "Hey, I don't know what's going on." But you would think with all the flack that 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 uh, 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 Twitch has taken, you know, you would think that they would want to come out and be like, "Hey, man, we didn't just ban him for no fucking reason. But we, you know, here's our reason. This is what happened." Right. And um. So who knows? I mean, well, again, know. he alludes to what I was saying about Ninja and Shroud when they came back from Mixer, right? And Twitch got them back in. He alludes to the fact that, you know, what happens that maybe he got banned so that they that Twitch could free up money to get those clowns back on their roster. Mm -hmm. You know, so, right? And, uh, and if that's the case, man. I hope he fucking burns Twitch to the ground. Even more interesting was the response of Ninja's very own wife, that being Jessica Blevins, saying, yeah, I don't believe that. I would have say, that based off reading that, that tweet was shortly after Doc posted his, by the way, saying she does not believe that Twitch did not notify him as to why he is banned. Pretty much, in my opinion, calling Doc out, if not calling Doc a liar and maybe i don't want to twist her words entirely based off a tweet she was trying to insinuate that yeah twitch may not have notified you why you were banned but certainly you probably know why you were banned you know is there is there like a some kind of rivalry between those guys between no well fucking him uh him and shroud used to stream play together on stream all the time and here's another thing right twitch all all of his friends that he played with right streamed mm -hmm. with Day after day, week after week, year after year, he cannot play with any of those guys anymore. Those guys are not allowed by Twitch um, to stream with him on their channel. Not a, they can't play his voice. They can't show his image. It's fucking shady as That's fuck, bro. That's crazy. Right? That's that's so weird. I mean, it's it's you would think that they would have to be some They can't even shit. they can't even stream with him on YouTube on his new platform without getting wow. banned by Twitch. That's crazy. It's fucking dumb. That is that's weird. And uh and Twitch has too much goddamn control, man. Right. Right. I don't know how those guys can stay there with with all that. But I guess you know, it's Twitch Right. Twitch has been around for quite some time now, haven't they? And Twitch um, has been around since 2011, and they are a subsidiary of Amazon. Mm. I, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that David Icke has said a lot of, <clears throat> has put out a lot of conspiracies regarding Bezos, and I wonder. Yeah, you never know. I mean, I suppose that could be... That could be an issue too. I mean, I mean, it it didn't come from their community standards department. It came from the top, the band right. did, and that's another part of the controversy, you know. And it and it leads to a lot of speculation again, because for them to make that decision from the top down, and not make a statement about it, again, is pretty fucking sus. It seems seems like it's whether whether it was major or not. It, that certainly seems personal. You know what I mean? It was, you know, somebody at the top took something personally. Which is why he's got a great case, man. He's got right. a great case. I mean, that's, that's, you know, that's not a position, I, you know, you certainly don't want to have to. He's got 3.2 3. 3. million subs on YouTube, man. He averages about anywhere from 150,000 to 250,000 viewers a stream, man. That's pretty amazing. I mean, you think that's amazing? You should see some of the donations he gets, man. Thousand yeah. dollar donations, five thousand dollar donations, ten thousand well, dollar donations, man. Now uh, that was another another uh, um, theory about all this was that that he had gotten banned for his willingness to donate to Black Lives Matter, right? Yes, um, yes, and which. You know, think, think. You know, we're not going to get into all that 
he was, side, that side of that. He matter, was but. going to. He was set up to do. Uh, he was set up <laughs> to do a Black Lives BLM charity stream. Right, and uh, I mean that 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 to me seems so crazy that you you could get a ban for that. But again, it's become so polarizing, so stupidly polarizing that it's. I don't know, man. I, you know, I, I suppose it's certainly not out of the realm of thought that that could have been what caused this. You know, I mean, a cancel cult culture but, is alive and well, bro. Right. I mean, it's it's. You can't do fucking nothing, man, in a public domain. Right. You, yeah, right. It's crazy. It's you know you can't we, support. You and I could get canceled any fucking minute, bro. Any right. fucking I minute. Mean, yeah. Uh, you know, and it, it it is what it is. I mean. To me, that's that's why, you know, that's why people have, you know, granted, if there was ever a time we ever had 5,000 subs to some of our shit, I would certainly, you know, maybe watch the language a little more if I thought there was a lot of kids out there. But, I mean, to, to, to completely just not be able to be yourself and, and you're putting yourself out there and not to be able to be yourself and... And, and that's just it man putting yourself out there you know how hard it is people think fucking people think coming on a platform like this and and putting yourself out there for the public to um get some kind of make some kind of thought you know what i mean to put yourself mm -hmm. out there publicly is easy it's not man because it's not you know you're setting yourself up for fucking people to you know say what they want about what you do and that's yeah. fucking fine you can say whatever the fuck you want but right. um kiss my ass first of all yeah, right <laughs> secondly <laughs> i don't give a fuck i'm not doing it for the general public i'm doing it for myself mainly but you know i appreciate the you know couple hundred subs we got or mm -hmm. friends we got on on our on our uh facebook page you know, right. I, I appreciate everybody always watching the videos, liking the videos, commenting, sharing. I mean, that's a one reason to do it because it shows that our audience is enjoying our product. Right, right. And yeah, yeah you're absolutely right. And it, it's not easy. It's not easy to, to, to even, even, I mean, just find whatever to talk about, you know, it's not, but anyway, it's just, you know, putting yourself out there and to have, to have such, uh, people with such negativity towards what you're putting out there. You know, if you're out there attacking people and people need to defend themselves, that's, that's one thing. You know, if you, if you're being, if, if we were sitting here dogging, you know, everybody, if we, we were talking about a band that we didn't like and, and, you know, we're talking shit and they wanted to come on and whatever, whatever the case is, you know, I, w I would understand something like that. But like in our situation, it's just we, we've given ourselves a platform to talk whatever we want to talk about. And we're giving other people the same opportunity. Come on here and talk whatever you want to talk about. Now, people in Dr. Disrespect, I imagine it's a little bit different of a situation where, you know, obviously he's a gamer. He, he He's there to stream games. I'm sure, like, I imagine his YouTube was a lot of vlogs before he went back to live streaming right right which i'm sure a lot of it and i don't know this for fact because i haven't seen it but i would imagine a lot of it's revolved around gaming or the making of his of his stream or whatever whatever the case is um but again still putting yourself out there and and the fact that you can look this guy up and find out just about anything you want about his life i mean that's well become he's, a public he's been building his brand for 11 years you know I mean? right i mean last right. year he, uh, I don't know if you know what the game Rogue Company is, but last year, um, via tweet, he suggested that um, Rogue Company let him design a map for their game. And sure the fuck enough, man, two months later, there's a fucking, do the, the arena, which is prevalently shown on his live streams through his, he's got the best production value by far mm -hmm. that I've ever seen. Um, that's true. He does have some pretty amazing production value on his streams. On his so yeah, they took the arena and they put it in the motherfucking game for him. Right. Put a fucking skin of him in the game. 
So, That's you know, he's not, we're not talking about somebody who hasn't worked his ass off to get to where he is. Right. And again, and again, you're right. Again, you know, people look at a game, a game streamer and think, oh, what, what are you doing? You're just playing games for your life and blah, blah, blah. No, it's not it's, because it's, it's because the thing is, the only way you can get yourself up to 3.2 million subs is if you are engaging your audience constantly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People come back because they are engaged by this guy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And he, right. he fucking chats everybody up in the chat, as many people as he can. His chat is so big, it's fucking flying by the screen all the time. But, right. <laughs> but you know, he built him, he built his, he worked hard to build up his brand the way he, the way to where it is now. You know what I mean? And right. for, 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 for some company to cut him off like that without any explanation is, uh, it's pretty controversial. Right. So I, this is, this is kind of a pointless question for you. Um, because I think you've, you've very well made your feelings known about it, but without, without knowing what's what the what the true story is, um, do you stand do you stand behind him as far as his side of it, or or um, support him, you know, until until otherwise notified, kind of thing, or you know what I mean? That is, is I do, I honestly do, and. Here's the flip side of that coin is for them, him to get a life si lifetime ban, I'm just hoping it's not something bad. I'm just hoping right. he didn't do something bad. But I don't get the feeling that he did. Otherwise, Twitch would just come out and fucking say it. Don't you right. think? Right. There, you know, and again, unless there's NDAs on both sides, who knows? And I'm um, sure as soon as that lawsuit was filed... That's what happened. All right. All right. So, um, yeah, is there, is there anything else you want to bring up about this? No, I mean, you know, just, again, um, it's 2021, and still months later, almost half a year later now, uh, there's still no answer as to why all this happened to the fucking guy. Mm -hmm. But uh, hopefully... Um, Hopefully we'll get to know soon because man, it's, <laughs> it's interesting, man. It's, it's one of the biggest for me personally is it was one of the biggest stories of last year. <laughs> and that says a lot when, yeah. when a fucking streamer getting banned can be such a huge fucking story. And it's, right. it's got legs, man. It's got legs in, in media with quite possibly the biggest controversy we have ever seen in streaming and gaming the fact that nobody knows and those who know will not speak up about this we might find out sometime soon exactly what is going on with dr disrespect absolutely it's a little irl fucking cliffhanger going on here so. yeah right i mean <laughs> i mean there's been articles in every major publication in the world about it right you know? and i i you know here's the and and, and of course Obviously, I'm no fan of fucking Twitch, right? Mm. I'm not. I'm just not. Mm. Because the bottom line is, is they don't give a fuck about streamers, man. <laughs> why would I fucking, why would I be a fan if I'm trying to be a streamer of a fucking company that doesn't really care about streamers? You know? Right. But right. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. I kind of lost my train <laughs> of thought, but. Oh, I think you completed it just fine. <laughs> So with that, uh, in case you ever sees it, Dr. Disrespect, we got your back. Hopefully, don't burn us. Don't burn us, bro. <laughs> don't burn us, bro. You're the best, Doc. You're the best, man. <laughs> All right, with that. A actually, you know, I mean, um, him and, like I said, like I said when we did the entertainment review, the streamer review, him and Windows Falafel are the two most entertaining streamers out there right now. And... And check it out. I'll be I'm gonna be playing some uh, some um, custom private matches with uh, Mr. Falafel himself here coming up in the near future. So check Sweet. that out. Check it out, Gen X Joe Gaming. Check him out. Uh, yeah. With that, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Enjoy, enjoy the clips, enjoy and all that stuff. We'll see you. Have a have a good time. <laughs> And you think I'm gonna stop right there? You think that's the end of the line? You think we're done? Then we put the locks on the arena. Champions Club. <laughs> We're just getting started. The name.
doctor. doctor. Yes. Come on! Dark alleyways is where they're going to find us. The next game is what we're going to get into. The next play, it's going to be a dominating one. The next snipe, 360 minimum. The next victory, celebration time. <laughs> Better than this guy. Hell out of my face. How about you? How about this guy? First time he's ever played. This guy's the first time he's ever played right here. Look at him. Down the mountain does his first 360, warms it up, boom, just like that. That is the end of the game. Oh! Don't you dare peek, Johnny Boy! Don't you ever dare peek in the two times world! This is my video game realm. This is my video game domain, ladies and gentlemen. Damn. It was really only a matter of time. This guy, get this guy out of here! I wasn't even touched! Yeah, 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 I mean, I'm not gonna look at him. Whoa! And today we're crashing them! We're slicing them up! Nobody does it better! Six foot eight, 37 inch vertical leap. And you're telling me that you got the guts to go against me. You've convinced yourself that you're better than me. Wrong. You're not even close. Because I'm at the tippity top. I'm at the tippity top of the mountain. And I'm literally only halfway up. Shut up, <laughs> I'm working. Shut Yoda. the fuck up, Grogu. <laughs>